Hello, and welcome to my little office again. Today's video is not about pixel mapping. Today's video is about some little tricks and uh, details of the internal capture visualizer. Because once you want to start pixel mapping, you always need a way to make a matrix of your fixtures. And uh, if you know how the internal capture visualizer works together with the uh, fixtures window, this is done very quickly and this is what I'm going to show you today. So as always, we start with a new show disk and new show. Here we go. Next is we open the visualizer window, open workspace window and capture, capture visualizer. We also open the capture visualizer settings, um, open workspace window and capture visualizer settings. In this window, let's go to the appearance section change ambient to say 90% and the exposure to 100%. Now we at least can see something, yeah? Okay. Then we go to the camera tab again. I think you, you know how to do it, so we zoom out a little bit and now you can move around, pan around like this and um, Let's do something like so and save this as a new view here. Just click on the plus sign, um, give it a name like view one and this is our view one. So now we can see from the top, we can see from the front, we can see from our angled view. Yeah. Okay, this is the front, this is the angled view. Okay, so next is let's patch some dimmers because we want to find out how this works together between the fixtures and their positioning, their initial positioning in the capture window. Of course, as soon as you have patched something, you are free to move it around there. But um, personally, I'm a lazy guy and I always love to keep things easy. So um, if I know where to put a fixture so that it appears in a certain spot here, why not do it right from the beginning? Okay, um, another look is how does the stage look? Let's go to the stage tab. We have the floor. The floor is um, 29 by 25 meters and is at a position because even this little virtual world has a zero position and um, the screen is positioned at a Z position of 10.40 meters. Let's go to the back wall. Deck wall is also 29 meters wide. It's 12 meters high and it's positioned at minus 2 meters. This means that um, our origin of this stage is somewhere here. Yeah? So this is minus 2 meters plus would go towards the audience downstage. This is just good to know. Okay, so let's patch it in patch and a demo demos and just click on patch demos okay this has created a demo on our first slot here and it appeared here let's try if this is works correct exit the patch menu select the fixtures and go to locate by the way, I changed the wheels so that you always can see the position where I am right now. So this dimmer, slot number one, it appeared at position X minus 12, um, at position Y, 8, plus 8, and position Z, 0. So let's change the position X to... Uh, well, 
more minus goes to the left, more or less minus or plus goes to the right. If I click in there and input zero, then I am exactly at center, uh, upstage center. So let's patch the next dimmer. So it looks like the first dimmer was like at minus 12, yeah? and I can then change it manually if I want to. Let's patch the next dimmer. Patch dimmers. And again, patch dimmers. Yeah? And here's our second dimmer. Okay, select it again and press locate. And this is our second dimmer. And this one um, appeared at position X minus 11.50. So the first one was originally at minus 12.0, and the second one is at minus 11.50. Um, so if we have a quick look from above, it is like this. So it is. Uh, the first one was originally here in this spot. Now we have the second one here, and it goes all the way there. So if we patch some more dimmers, um, patch like dimmers, and let's do 20 dimmers. 20 patch dimmers. Now we have a neat row of dimmers here. Yeah. Okay. Try, select all, and click locate. And this is our row of dimmers. Okay, let's think about it a little bit more. So, of course, um, sooner or later we will hit the end of the row, and then probably it will go on in the next row. So, let's patch some more dimmers. Patch dimmers like 100 and patch dimmers. And you see what's going on here. It reached there and started there again. Let's have a look which one it is. Select all dimmers. Then go, I don't locate right now because otherwise, well, I could, but I, I don't do this right now. And just click on highlight and next demo. And now we see, okay, this is this one. Scroll the fixes window up again. So about the 25th is a center. You see that? So this is center, 25th, and then probably number 50 is the end of the row. This is the end of the row here, and next one is next row, yeah. Okay. If we are right, then number 100 is the end of the second row. Let's have a look. 100 is there. 101 is there. So, let's keep this in mind. Originally, the first slot translates to, um, to upstage, right? Um, um, slot number 25 is upstage sender. And slot number 50 is upstage left, um, and so on and so on. So the um, default, these are only default. Again, uh, this is only what it defaults to, and you can easily change it later on. But uh, sometimes, well, for lazy guys like me, it's easy to stick to the old original defaults. So if we keep this in mind, then we can do a little trick to create such a matrix. This trick goes as follows. We again delete all the fixtures. Um, 
patch delete. Confirm. Yeah, now they are gone. And now we change the appearance of the window. So we go to the little cock, change um, columns and rows, change columns to 50 because each slot, uh, now we have 50 slots in each column. And let's change rows as well to 15. Okay. Okay, this looks differently. So, and now we go to patch again. We are still in the patch menu, patch dimmers. And now let's draw a little rectangle here. Still takes a little while for capture to create the fixtures there. This is really a lot, I think. Um, I have actually I have no idea how many we created here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-eight, a uh, six, twenty-eight, twenty-nine by something, I I think. Let's have a look. The groups must be underneath there. Okay. We change this Windows behavior like so. Okay. And have a look here. Yeah. These are our demos and locate them. Hello. Open the settings window again. Change our view. Okay. And now, happy pixel mapping. This would be part number one. So, we all we need to do right now is we select the group, go to Shapes Effects, Pixel Mapper, um, Edit Group Layout of this group. And what we, did we count? 29? Uh, white, I think. So go to the context menu, arrange fixtures, and let's put them to 29 white. Okay, uh, not really. I counted wrong, I think. Well, not that big a problem. 29, 28, maybe. Um, arrange fixtures and 28. Yeah, this looks okay because it automatically calculates the number of rows and columns. Okay. Exit. Close the window. Um, this one is there. This one is there. This one is there. Yeah, we are correct. Okay, cool. Um, and now let's create an effect with that group and pixel member create effect. And as always, we use our little rectangle. Yeah, I can arrange it like this so that we can see something. And you already can play with that. So width is a little bit narrower. Then height is high. Add an animation like this. And add another one like this. Yeah. And that's it. So record and here. So again, um, the default stage, of course, you can change everything here, but the default stage uh, is 29 meters wide, 
patching fixtures by default um, creates positions of the fixtures from minus 12 to plus 12 meters from uh, stage right to stage left and if you think about this and make use of that it is very easy to create such a matrix this would be number one number two is another one which i will show in the next video